Okay, I was getting ready for my trip and uh, once again, I found another issue. My rear camera had quit functioning. So since I'm redoing it, I figured I'd capture a video. Most all these cameras that you buy on Amazon and places, most likely you're gonna have a wireless type system of some sort. And uh, you're gonna have, it's gonna consist of some camera like this one. And it's going to need a power source and wirelessly it's going to feed its signal. Now, you can see the wire coming down from the camera and I'm running it under the casita because I'm gonna feed it up to give it a 12 volt power source here. And I'll come back and explain that in a minute. But of course, any electrical work you do, you disconnect your battery uh, and I've already done that. So, uh, and I've got mine pretty much at the point to where I know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, so when you buy these, like I say, you're gonna have a head unit like this of some sort, some sort of monitoring system uh that's going to plug directly into some lighter uh cigarette lighter plug or something like this uh to power the head unit then you're going to have a camera again like this something like this that's going to be uh, plugged into a power source and so let's look at that here is the camera again a new camera i've got and i'm bringing my wire down i'm gonna feed under here now let's look at this pigtail all right now it has four ports in it it's going to give it both signal power ground and power and it's going to connect male to female into this connector and you can see it has an extension antenna on it this one does then it's going to come down, it's going to need a power source. Well, since I'm putting it at the rear of the casita, it has to run a long distance. So I've added some wire. Okay, so I basically have taken the manufacturer unit and just attached it so, to some additional wire that I'm actually bringing up and using on a connection like this that you use on your battery tender. And that's so I can unplug it here easily and connect it and uh, i have an inline power switch here too for another reason but anyway so that's the way i connect the power when i hook up my trailer i'm able to connect using this battery tender cord that i adapted that gives me power then to the camera now that's the feed the power the wireless signal actually comes through that antenna you know so now you can buy a direct wire camera system too, if you choose to. And, uh, you know, that's not a bad idea considering that, you know, I'm already going to run that power source, the length of the trailer and into the vehicle. So that is an option for you. So again, to recap, you're going to have a head unit in your vehicle that's going to plug into a source that feeds off a cigarette lighter. Okay, so that's going to receive your wireless signal from your camera that's positioned in the back of your casita. Now you're going to need to give a power source to that, so you're going to need to extend that cable. It's not going to be long enough, so you're going to need to back patch you in a piece of wire and run it around some way to get a power source off your vehicle. And that's all it is to it. So what I'm going to do is clean up now. I'm going to tuck this wire underneath, zip tied under there, including this. I'm going to seal it so that, you know, it stays from wet and moisture and so forth. I've already run my extension wires, so I'm going to seal them together. And uh, otherwise, this system is ready to go. It does work uh, when you power the source in your vehicle. Uh, your wireless signal uh, should read from the camera in the back. So you're gonna, you're gonna need to turn your power on so that you have a power source here on your power plug. And once you do, then the wireless signal will carry back to that camera. Now I have it unplugged at this point, but I can show you. If I plug this in now, 
you can see, and this only has one way it'll go in properly. So now that I've got the wireless and power, at least the power signal to it, we will get video and we have some video here. So again, it's your choice what head unit you want to use based on the camera system you purchase. I've got a couple of different ones out here. This is a boss cam system. This was the head unit for it. This was the cameras. They all have pretty much the same end connectors, but they're not necessarily compatible. I had hoped to be able to use this head unit, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't appear to be compatible, even though they do appear to use similar connections. So it must be wired a little bit differently. Otherwise, we're good to go. Now, this is a 2018 Casita, and this is a 4Runner Toyota as the tow vehicle that I'm using. Okay, hopefully this is helpful.